Now, welcome to Guitar.com. This is in response to a request for a lesson on Warrior from Argus, the third album by Wishbone Ash, which came out in, I think, 1972. Uh, Wishbone Ash, uh, one of my favorite bands, blended um, kind of progressive folk and hard rock, and they were one of the earliest bands to use uh, twin lead guitars, played by Ted Turner and Andy Powell. So they had a very distinctive sound, and this song is uh, one of their best known in the early 1970s, it was very typical for not just progressive bands, but mainstream rock bands to compose songs with many parts. And this song is no exception, so it's a, it's a bit challenging from a, a teaching point of view. So in this set of lessons, two parts, I'm going to cover the rhythm, which is certainly a handful, and I'll try to do a lesson on the solos in the not-too-distant future. In part one, I'll do a playthrough of each of the key parts, and then in I'll break down the intro, which is probably the most famous part of the song. And then in part two, I'll cover the verse, bridge, and outro. So that's a pretty full plate, so let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so to get to the feel of this song, one of the things that you have to get used to is um, a lot of the chords have vibrato in them. And in particular, the A minor chord, which, uh, you know, it's built around. Um, if you just play the A minor, that's not usually going to get the sound of it. You have to play it and then shake it. So a lot of that in there and uh, you don't have to use it every time but if you want to get the flavor of it. So the intro um, it goes from an E minor to an A sus2 to an A minor. All right. And then uh, an E minor and he's sort of uh, playing it like so. All right. Then you have this G chord where you're, um, I play this part with my thumb, you can certainly play it with any finger you want, 
it's easier for me with the thumb. But the the main thing is to get both um, the G string at the third fret. I mean the E string at the third fret and the B string at the third fret. So you want that full G sound like that. Okay. So that's very important to this song. So we've already got. And then you play. So that's downstroke, upstroke, and then you play a D chord. And then back to this. So, so it's. And then you make uh, an A chord barring uh, with this first finger. You're going to bring your pinky down to the um, E string and the B string at the 5th fret. And you're going to play... So that, that's that chord that you hear in there. And then you take your those fingers off, take your middle finger and put it over um, the 3rd fret um, B string and E string. So that's, you know, the, this chord essentially. You're only playing the top piece and play. And then back to this one. So that's the move that you really have to practice in this. You have to go. So if we put it all together slowly, uh, it's. played at speed it's and you put the little vibrato on it all right so that's probably actually the hardest part of the song get that part done then the rest of it's relatively easy um, so he plays that twice uh, and then he plays a modified version of it um, during the solo. And what he's playing there um, is this. Uh, so the end is exactly the same as what you played the first two times. But the beginning, instead of playing, you're playing. So that kind of rhythm. And uh, this is the perfect time to, to apply that vibrato to the E minor and also to the E minor. So it's... And then... Alright, so he does that uh, four times. Um, and then he goes to... Um, just an E minor to an A minor. And that part uh, you do basically five times. Uh, four times like this. Again, the vibrato here. And then the fifth time he does That's the end of the introduction, just ends like that. Uh.